Hi Rohit, welcome to Cinema Express. Uh, we are here to talk about films like Ishq and Rohit stars in this wonderful short film, uh, Star Host, mm-hmm. directed by Anand Tiwari. Uh, Rohit, I'll begin with this, you know, as pretty and as beautiful the show looks, you know, it's also sparking a lot of envy in us because there's one set in Goa, you guys are in Mahavalishwa, your character is dreaming of going to the Northern Lights. Was it just very nice to, you know, get to travel uh, through the show and, you know, especially at the time when, all, all, you know, you mostly stuck at home? A hundred percent, actually, when I uh, shot this, firstly, thank you so much, Rajit, for having me uh, yeah. to chat with you. It's been a while and I'm so, so happy to see you again. Um, to to answer your question, a hundred percent, it was amazing uh, to travel to Mahabaleshwar at the time when we shot this. We actually shot this in December, and usse uh, pehle, of course, uh, for nine months we were all stuck at home. And uske baad then I had had two releases, which was Ludo and Mismatched. So I could really do with a small getaway. Uh, the good thing and the actually the better thing was that I was on a getaway, but at the same time I was working on something that was even more exciting. So uh, yeah, it was it was fantastic, and I'm so so glad this happened. Right. Uh, what did you think of the story itself? It's very unique, uh, you know, in terms of uh, having uh, Anand has always had the skill of bringing two <clears> characters <throat> together in a romantic way. Uh, you know, his uh, previous feature and uh, series also, you know, in uh, they had had that thing of you know ca- characters coming together, you know, either by luck or by yeah. destiny. Uh, tell us a little bit about that. You know how uh, the uh, the story was designed and written. Uh, so I think uh, obviously I would not be able to tell you what was the process of writing the story because that uh-huh. I wouldn't know. Uh, but for me, when it came to me, I actually uh, I got the reason why I wanted to do this so badly was because it was Anand sir directing it. Uh, I've been a huge fan of his work with what he's done with Vicky Kaushal. Um, uh, later, what he did with Bandish, I'd actually auditioned for a couple of them, uh, mm. and I'm so glad that this one worked out. So my most primary reason why I wanted to do this was because it was Anand sir directing. Uh, but more uh, more than that, also it was the fact that it was so real. Um, it's a it's a story that literally every single person who will watch will relate to. Uh, it is a possibility. You know, most often than not, you see something on screen and you feel like, oh my God, that is beautiful. The story, but is it is it possible? Can that happen? Most often than not, you find you find yourself telling you telling yourself that. You know, it's not really a possibility. But when you actually watch this, when you watch feels like Ishkin, I can speak about my episode because I know more about that. Uh, when you watch Star Host, uh, you will realize that what you're seeing on screen is is uh, is an absolute possibility that can happen. You can meet someone uh, while you're traveling, and uh, you can fall in love with them. And that love does not need to be in so many words. It can be a completely different take on love. It can be a connection. And uh, you know the best part was that uh, these two characters, Aditya and Tara, uh, Tara, which is being played by Simran Jehani, um, these two characters meet in the most, uh, you know, uh, uh, in the most unexpected way. They realize that there's a connection uh, in the most unexpected way, and uh, uh, they are on their journeys in the most unexpected way. There's nothing, uh, there's nothing uh, that is that's something that you can predict. And the reason why uh, I think uh, it matters to me so much and it means to me so much is also because that's life. You can't really predict it. It's uh, everything is very uh, accidental. Uh, when you meet someone, you you feel something for them. That's very accidental. And I think uh, that's why this story meant so much to me was because when I read it, I saw myself. I saw the people that I know in the in this story, and uh, I was just really, really happy to be a part of it because it was a story that is around us and we were bringing it to life and actually projecting it. So, yeah. Great. And uh, you very it, uh, rightly uh, said, by the way, that uh, Anand has a beautiful way of uh, getting two yeah. characters together by destiny right. or by love. Uh, this is something that I've mentioned in my previous interviews, but I love the way Anand has this beautiful way of ensuring that the actors fall in love with the characters that they're going to play before they actually become those characters. And uh, I think for that, I'm a fan of him. Right. Uh, it also made me think, you know, with uh, uh, our getaway culture and, you know, the B&Bs, you know, the sort of distance between hosts and guests, you know, which was earlier the hospitality industry, which is so formal and it has shrunk because, you know, people let out, they have villas and places and they let out yeah. and uh, it, it, it's, it's gotten into, a, it's a very interesting dynamic to explore, you know, between a host who's trying his best, you know, to uh, make the character feel comfortable in, in, in a general sense, but also 
eventually you know try getting to understand each other and forging a connection that you know you uh, are and tara do uh, was it interesting playing a guy like that you know who was letting his house, house out and you know there's a lovely uh, comic sequence in, in initially of you trying to just you know make yeah. things work yeah 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 no no a uh, 100% it was very very interesting because also um the character that aditya is the person that he is that's very unlike me like i'm not that kind of person so uh, i also remember we did this one really fun exercise uh with anand like he comes from a theater background so he has these really cool ways of you know working with actors and getting them to become characters um i remember we we sat uh across the bed uh, one day before we were going to start filming and he said that i'm going to uh, you have the script you've obviously read it but i'm going to ask you questions about your character and i thought that those are going to be questions from the script like it felt like it was almost an exam of sort that you know do you pass or do you know enough about the character or not but those are actually questions that were outside the script that was from the character's universe that you had to think of you had to build on and we did and that was a 2 hour long whatever workshop by the end of it i actually realized that i had become the character because the way i was talking the way i sat was very very different uh, than what i would do um uh, you know my approach to everything was very different the story that i had in my mind was very very different um and i think that was the fun part of becoming this character also it's cool so i don't want to give spoilers but uh, you know uh, the way aditya kind of the reason why he wants to become a host of a bnb is because mm-hmm. he wants to make that easy money he wants to make the quick money before his parents come back from the trip that they're on and so to begin with the, the reason why he wants to host is uh, is is uh, broken to begin with you know so how the kind uh, the the story that follows after just becomes so much more fun because his agenda was only wrong um mm-hmm. so yeah i had a blast playing this character it was so much fun to explore this side of uh, a human being for that matter and yeah that was yeah. great with uh, you know of course uh, last two years have been crazy but uh, how much do you enjoy traveling and do you uh, like your character do you have a place that you've been meaning to go for a long time uh to be very very honest i actually do want to see the northern lights a lot like i want to go bahut zor se dekhna hai uh northern lights because uh, i was actually in oslo um hmm. a couple of years ago and i had my moment where i could have traveled for two more hours gone to tromso and actually seen the northern lights but unfortunately i couldn't and so that has been one of the bucket bucket list things that i want to do uh but i do love to travel a lot um uh, that's another thing that i'm scared to travel uh but i do love traveling a lot and every year you would see like it's a it's a yearly thing that i do i always travel to the mountains mountains are my most favorite place to be so every year with my friends or my family i ensure that i take like 10 days off and i go and i just you know travel to the mountains i do this little road trip because i absolutely love that So yeah I I do love travel a lot I really hope that the world can open up again and we can travel internationally but for now India is good right, right. great uh you uh, tell me about this particular scene where you know Tara is lodged mm-hmm. in and uh, she needs something and she visits your room and she opens uh, she enters and you know uh, he, she realizes that he's made the roof uh, you know uh, resemble yeah. that and uh, it's it's a very tender moment because you know so far he's been the host and you know he it's sort of him letting her into the space but for a moment he is invaded and he doesn't know how to react and you know she sort yeah. of she, she also says that you obsess and you know it sort of makes him think yeah. of it in a different way that you know uh, tell, tell me about shooting that scene with someone Uh, it was actually a lot of a we shot this at like 3:30 3:45 in the night uh in the morning rather and uh, like obviously logistically we were all dead tired very very sleepy and all of that besides it was bloody cold when we were shooting and if you see if you realize i'm wearing like boxers in the scene so it was like it was mad cold and I, ideally i was supposed to not even wear my t-shirt i was only supposed to be in boxers but i was like i can't do that it's too cold um <clears throat> But yeah, to shoot that scene, it actually uh, it was fun because also what it talks about again is very very real. You know what Tara says to Aditya, what Aditya says in return, it's it's actually very very real. You know, it's a it's a conversation that you probably have had with somebody from your family or your confidant or someone you love or whatever. So um, yeah, besides we were all in awe of what Tara had done, uh, our art director with the room. because when i i could see like i saw that it was getting made for 3 days this this something that we shot in the last day of our um fi- of our film shoot 
so i could see for the first four days that she was creating it she was working really hard on it and i was like i don't know how she's going to show that whatever northern lights inside a room but when it actually came to life i was dumb found i was like what is this like that's pure art like whatever she did was fantastic uh and you know it's really interesting because uh, this is a conversation that we had like dhara and i we kind of had after uh we were done filming and i remember there was like a little rap party also my birthday party because i celebrated my birthday there with the crew um i remember she was telling me that you know i for me uh dressing a space in the sense doing art direction is a lot more than just making a space look pretty because everything adds value when it when it when you ask an actor and that that is so true when you're in a space uh when you for example when you're when you if you see that spot where i'm standing there along with tara or where the film ends that spot where you see the valleys it it takes very little for an actor to get into a space because that that space gives you that opportunity it's a stimulus that you can, you know you kind of build on and uh, dhara has done a fantastic job along with shaira and all the other girls uh, who were dressing that space i think it was one of the most beautiful sets i've ever been on so yeah it was a lot of fun shooting that sequence and i cannot wait to see what it looks like cuz even i haven't seen it so right okay okay yeah. uh rohit tell me this and uh, as i was watching all the films and uh, it made me reflect of how the uh, pandemic itself and you know it sort of affected all aspects of our life one of them being romance and intimacy as well you know from you know minor things of how we interact with people to even dating going out things like that you know has been yeah. started uh, uh maybe not you often that much but a couple of the films do comment you know on the pandemic itself and you know how that has altered life uh, have you been reflect on how the last couple of years has been in especially in terms of just relationships how you know uh, uh, a boy and girl would meet differently before pandemic and how this has become such a uh, you know it, 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 in small imperceptible ways it sort of you know has eaten into how it, the traditional way of we uh, approach relationships we approach romance and do you have you uh, do you have thoughts on that i think it's evolution right uh, yeah. had it would have not been the pandemic it would have been a different generation i mean um earlier i mean there was no pandemic in our in in the times of in the times when when our parents lived uh you know it was a different time where where a boy and a girl met not on a dating site or a dating app but they met through people or or wherever they went or whatever and that still happens so there's evolution that happens with uh with the time that goes by uh in my opinion honestly i haven't really explored dating at all in the pandemic in the entire phase that we've been in the pandemic um i've been very focused on work uh when we got into a pandemic i was already with someone um that ended uh, in the middle of the pandemic and um, and i did not see myself getting back into a space where i wanted to explore or mingle with someone uh before that of course it was very very different uh you know the whole idea of intimacy was very different right now to me uh intimacy is something that i i, I am a very affectionate physically affectionate person uh i like i like the touch i like i like hugs a lot and that's obviously been very very difficult and that, i don't mean that necessarily in just a romantic way it's also platonic like i love cuddling and being with my friends and physically being with them but that's not possible right now so 100% it has affected and you know funny part um uh, uh, some time ago i i met my friends after a really long time and uh, where obviously we've all got the virus so we know that we're safe besides we were also vaccinated so we did uh, when we met we knew that we're all safe but somehow my natural instinct wasn't to go and hug them it was to kind of maintain some sort of distance which to me i reflected on much later when i got back home i thought about it and it really made me wonder that that is such a weird thing you know i crave hugs but when i could actually hug a person i i chose to not uh so a 100% pandemic has messed up a lot of things uh, not very happy about that but hopefully things will open up world will be a better place to be in the virus will not exist and we'll be able to hug people again
friends lovely thought uh, rohit i'll end with this uh, you know and i mean this as a compliment you know you play characters who have a natural vulnerability to them you know it might might be an arc in the story may not but you feel that and uh, for the longest time we had this uh, image of the hindi film hero as someone who is uh, unfailable and you know who is uh, strong and so much but you know uh, with love story especially you know uh, whether it's male characters female characters vulnerability is such a wonderful aspect to explore you know with characters along with their strengths along with who they are and uh, what they become uh, does this come naturally to you or is it do you think it's uh, characters who are, you all get approached for are written that way and uh, is, is this is this a dynamic you work on or do you think about uh, when when approaching a character i think it just makes the character real right i would mm. the characters that i am approached for or let's say i audition for and then later i get offered if i'm reading a character that is not vulnerable is very macho very like i don't cry mard ko dard nahi hota types it's i yeah. i don't think that would speak to me because it's not real uh you know funnily enough i've seen my father cry a lot when i was a child and uh, i thought he was the most manly man i ever knew and uh, the fact that he had i think it's brave to be vulnerable uh, i think it's very very brave to be articulate of uh, what you're thinking what you're feeling um, it's a brave thing to cry uh and i take pride in that i i do love a good cry session because it just helps me feel better and why not right so i think when i'm doing characters when you rightly said that you know you there's a natural sort of vulnerability to the characters i think it's also because those characters speak to me the most um it's because those are the characters that i get inclined towards because they're not afraid uh and uh, yeah i i think uh, i it's not a thing that i'm looking for when i'm reading a script it's just something that uh is very underlined uh, is it's very underlying um it's something that uh, just exists and uh, the reason i think that that's one of the most important reasons why i get attracted to those kind of characters is because they just feel really real they feel like they don't feel pretentious uh they feel like people who actually would exist so yeah great great yes. lovely uh, thank you so much roy that's some wonderful insights into your process and uh, the kind of work that you love doing uh, all the best for feels like ish uh, i hope it gets uh, watched widely and loved widely thank you so much uh, thank you thank you so much lajit yes thank this you. was great chatting with you as always please take care and i will hopefully see you soon yeah you too thank Thanks you so bye bye